just come to Melaine's house, wherever you have her in Sindane. And you're just going to want to buy two thorn armlets. What you're going to want to do is get these things to plus five and then break them down. The reason for this is they have an experience up bonus effect on them. So if you put that onto your weapon, you'll then have experience up. And what this translates to is when you take an enemy out with this weapon, if you put it on your sword or your armband, I do both. Um, so no matter what you take them out with, you pick up the experience on monster form, you get more XP per takedown. So that's just going to save you some time, it's worth doing. After you have the experience boost on your weapons, grind the first floor of the Moonflower Palace until your monster's level 51. So I haven't actually done a single thing of combat at all whatsoever with this. I got him up to level 26, so now we have the option to change class. At level 51, you'll have the same option again to then just change into a Thunder Gemron, or Lightning Gemron, whichever one it was. And at that point, you just do the metals that you need to get done in the Moonflower Palace, and then you just head over to the Zelmite Mines, which we will show you in one sec. So for level 51 to 76, I, I actually recommend that um, if you're doing the Metalhead Trophy, I highly recommend that you just kind of go through these floors as Monica as much as possible. Like for example, with the item floors, as much as you can, try and go through them as Monica. And whenever the enemy drops experience, just swap over to your monster quickly. Like by the time I was done all this, I was at 65, so I didn't have to grind too much. But when you do have to grind, I recommend the floor Firm Belief. The enemies here are higher end monsters, yeah, but not most of them you can take out very easily with your armband. You can also grind in the last floor because there's actually slightly more experience to be had. But you have to deal with more of the flying steel monster, which can be annoying. If you don't mind that, then you can also just do the final floor in this place because it does give slightly more experience than this place. This is the only mob that um, is resistant to your armband and you should use your sword on. All the other ones are easy though. I get about one full level uh, up to a half from every time I run this floor. There really isn't much more to say about it, that's it. So we're basically just going to uh, go through this floor, get to level 76, and unlock the trophy. This floor runs decently quick, it takes about 7 minutes for me personally to go through the entire thing. I think that bomb over there will give us our level. Oh no, he did. Cool. We're at 76 now. This is actually going to be the platinum trophy for me. Um, we're going to do holy jump run. What? Your monster's evolving? And there we go, that's the platinum too. <laughs> Sweet. Got five rubies for that, okay. Well, there we go. I only grinded up one monster and that's probably all I'm ever gonna do. <laughs> I think this is the newer monster drop. And it also gave us five rubies, right? That's a lot. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, well, that's pretty much all it is for this video. So hopefully it helps you, and we will see you in part 50 to end the game. <laughs> see you soon.